In this video, you're going to learn how to use a PHP include statement to change content on your site. If you have content on your site that you want to change constantly or you want to be able to change easily without having to go into the code of your site just by changing one file, this is the way you can do it easily. Here in front of you is the format for an include statement and that is included in the package. So all you have to do is copy this into your website and you're ready to go. Now let's have a look at how it works. I'm just going to use it on this site as an example and I'm going to put a name in in place of these X's here and down at the bottom here where it says your name. I'm going to use an include statement and then when I change the include statement the name will change on my site. So let's go and have a look at this site first. Then I'm going to open it with a program called Composer which is free software and there's a download link to it within your package. So we'll open up Composer. Extend this a little bit. Then just click Open and I'll open this site. Okay, here's our site here. Now, let's just get rid of this. And then right here, if we go to Insert Pick HTML and then get our includes text and this is what it looks like here and then copy this paste it in here click insert. I don't see anything here because it knows it's PHP but when we finish our site it will be evident to us that it is working. So now we want to also replace this instance. So let's Remove that, go to Insert, HTML, paste the same thing in here. Now just a note here, this is the name of the file that we're going to create that is going to contain the data that we want to appear here. So let's change this now to name.php and insert. And then back up here. We'll have to go into the source to change this one. Okay, and here is the statement right here. Okay, that it's put in for us. Now, if we had done this in the first place, we would need to be come back in here and edit it. So let's just change this to name. PHP. So both of these will be replaced by the actual data inside name.php when we're done there. Okay, now our website change is complete. Anytime we change the file called name.php now, it's going to show up on our site. So let's just save this and close. Now if we refresh this, actually nothing's going to happen because it doesn't know what to do with it on our own computer. So what we're going to have to do is go in here first of all and to make a PHP include work you need to have a PHP file. So this is an HTML file or you might see an HTM extension on your index page. If it's not PHP you just change the PHP. This really has no effect on the way the website will display. Now what we need to do is we need to create a new text file so we'll create a text document and we'll call it name.php. Okay, and then we'll open this with Notepad and we'll just put the name that we want to use on here. And then we'll save. Now if we upload these two items to our server and we display them, what will happen is it will replace that include statement with the name. So let's go ahead and upload that. And I'm just going to use my cPanel, so we'll go to File Manager. And you need to know where your web documents go on this server. They go on public underscore HTML. You should know that or your server provider can tell you. Now I'm just going to create a new folder to put it in and we'll call it 
includes example. We'll create that. And then down here, we see includes example. So we'll click on the little file folder beside it. And now we can upload our files in here. So click upload files and then browse for the files on your computer by clicking browse. Then we'll pick index and we'll pick name and we'll upload those. Now we also have some images that we would upload. So we'd create our images directory if we want. If we don't, they're just not going to show up. And I don't really care for this demonstration, so I'm just going to load this up and show you that it does in fact work. So our domain name slash folder name will bring up our site. So this is at thebestinfo1.info slash includes example will bring this up. So let's bring that up now. All right, here's our web page without the images on it because we didn't upload the image folder. And you can see here that it took our include statement and put the name that is inside of our PHP file in it. So that's all there is to it. That's how you can use a PHP include to change your content. Now, if we wanted to change that content on our site, we don't have to go and edit any HTML code anymore. All we have to do is go into our cPanel and change the file in here or change it on our computer and then upload it. So we'll just edit this file and we'll just change Joe Blow to burn. Okay, and we'll save. Now when we refresh our screen, it changes to burn. Now this example I showed you isn't really the best example of why you would use an include. You can use an include anywhere that you're going to want to be able to change your content in multiple places on your site. For instance, if you wanted to use a PHP include for your header, this up here, you could use the include statement to give it the image location. And then if you want to change your head, you wanted to change your header, you could just change the code inside of the include file. So that's how you can use include files to change content on your website without having to change any HTML code.